All right, digital pressure points work in a very similar way. I use these more on the lower anterior than anything. So looking here, let's say our initial setup was just like it was at number 12. And so we program the teeth to be straight. And you, you're going to see these are kind of extreme examples, but I would just want you to understand. But let's say the actual tooth looks like this. Three of them straightened and one of them didn't. So we set up the case perfectly, but there's one tooth that didn't track. And if you looked in the mouth, you might see that, you know, the aligner like uh, is sticking out a little bit in that area. But again, we still have the ability to place force on these teeth. So what are we going to do? We have a lower left one here that is rotated. It's supposed to be straight according to the software and what we set up initially. We're going to go ahead and add a keyframe just like we talked about before to overcorrect the rotation. And if we want to increase the force even further, then just by our, an overcorrection of the rotation, we can add pressure points. And what those pressure points are going to do is essentially create a dimple in the tooth. They're very simple to add through the attachment uh, pane there. You go ahead, grab the pressure point, you make it as big as you want. Typically I make them about a millimeter and a half wide. And I've found that really you don't need more than about a half to three quarters of a millimeter of depth on these in order to be able to provide adequate pressure. So I'll place them approximately a couple millimeters from the incisal edge, and I'll place them on the tooth surface where I want the increased forces to be. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can actually add attachments. If you want to, you can add an additional attachment. I try not to do that because if I add an additional attachment, then I have to bond that additional attachment, and that creates another appointment. So I'm gonna do as much chair side refining as I can without adding additional attachments, and the use of pressure points and pressure ridges helps us to be able to do that uh, predictably. So now you can see here, we've added a few stages on the bottom. We'll talk later about how we can adjust the velocity of those stages if we feel like that's too many stages for the movement that we're trying to get. <music>